Hello everybody, Pause Life Gaming here, and welcome to Fran Bow. Now this game has got great ratings on Steam. It is rated as a psychological horror game, and I love horror games because they got great story. I hate the horror aspect of it. Now, I can tell by the menu, her eyes have been following my mouse for like the past two minutes while setting up, and it has been freaking me out. Even when I like move it out of the app, sometimes it even followed. So yes, I did play about 50 seconds of it to check if it will record. Yes, it records great. Don't mind the pink headphones, I'm just borrowing them for now until I get better headphones. But uh, this game, as you can tell by the music, it's terrifying already. I can just tell by the music. So we're going to start a new game. And let's see this. I skipped all this other. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. Oh, it's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. Oh, that's a cute name. My best friend. Aw, oh, cats are like amazing. My only friend. Okay, that's kind of sad now. <laughs> My only friend is a cat. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace too. Aunt Grace. Yeah. I like her a lot. Even more than your parents. <laughs> it's Friday. My parents are going out. Alright. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. And the cat's licking milk. It's so cute. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. It's not a cat, butthole. But something feels real bad. Thank you for giving me that slight jump scare. A strange creature outside my window. No, don't go to it. That gave me goosebumps instantly. I don't like it. It scares me. Yeah, I am covered in goosebumps. Suddenly, I hear something. Ooh. It's Mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. Someone's coming up the stairs and it just scared me. <laughs> I go closer. And closer. Ooh. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Ooh. Mommy? Daddy? That's a bit brutal. Wait, where's the mom's legs? Walk it off, don't worry. Oh my god. Jump through the forest and hug the cat. It's gonna be fine till you find a bat. Oh, look at that, squinty. Oh, Mr. Midnight be mad, and now he. Uh, cat, don't leave me behind. I swear to God. If you chicken out on me now. Wait, Mom? Dad? Oh, cultists! Fran, please, follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One, two, oh, three. Alright, I'm putting my other headphone back on. Fraud, how do you feel? I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better. I promise. You, no sympathy. Better? Then let me go. That would be better. You should not 
tell me how to do my job. Now I have something for you, friend. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for me. It's from, it's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This? Yeah, boy. This is my mother's purse. Oh. Open it. There's something inside. Okay. Ooh, paper. Um, examine. Here is the per. Uh, dearest friend, here is the purse I like so much. I thought you would like it, like to have it. And I was thinking about you, and I remembered you like to examine objects and combine things to each other. And I hope that you always keep this purse and give it all the other things and keep all the other things you find to good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. Examine, combine. Those are words on there. And use. She is worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I, can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. Before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? Ew, medicine. It's called Duotine. And it'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Duotine. Oh, Jesus. Everything new today, Dr. Deren? <laughs> Nothing, actually. Some vision, same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Uh, guys, if you're wondering why my camera's a little bit different than normal, it's because I have a new computer set up. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills. No! Fine, I'll take your goddamn pills. Oh, okay. So, um... I don't feel good. Oh no. Take her back to her room. Oh, that, uh, that covered me in goosebumps. Ooh, it gave me the jitters. I don't like this. <laughs> and nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Got it, doctor. Ooh, I feel cold. <laughs> Beware, friend. Oh. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Oh, Mr. Minnick. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. Oh, it's the cat talking. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I don't know what kind of voice I should give the cat. Sorry, I was just kind of using the, the demon's voice for the cat, because I don't know the kind of voice I'll give the cat. Here's the demon. I'm going to give the low voice. I'm going to give the demon the low voice. I don't know what voice I want to give the cat, because it seems the cat likes to talk. Uh, ew, ew. Wake up, frame. Jesus be with you. <laughs> I'm still he I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. If I click you, will you get out of bed at least? Alright, sweet. Oh, that mouse. I will get your nose. I will get it. Oh, okay, let's check this out. Case 25062009150000. Morse code. Name Fran Bone Dagenhardt. Wait. Dagenhardt, yes. Age 10. Gender female. Did you just oppose my gender? <laughs> History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhardt family tragedy details omitted. Treatment? 
Dr. Marcel Deering has tried different medicines and all have, can have been canceled because of side effects. Psycho... I'm not that for sure. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Oh, sweet melodies in, in horror games just always sets the mood, makes you want to die. Oh, hey, someone's playing Elder Scrolls Online. Cool. Red and Timmy, you are hiding from me. Wait, Red and Tiny, you are hiding from me. The pills. I have. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. I hate the monster. Oh, these are creepy. One second, someone's snuffing. I, I will be right back. I heard someone downstairs stomping around and I got curious of who it was, so... Alright. You look sick! One second. I hope somebody loves you. Nobody does. <laughs> Ooh, a secret box. Shh. A key. Excuse me. <laughs> a key. This will certainly open something. Okay, um, let's talk to you. Hello, Phil. Phil? Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just... They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh god, that's creepy. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games, and nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. Oh. No. I won't let that monster stop me. Oh, I'm dehydrated. I still have blue dress like yours. Case one two one one four five five three six. Fillmore Bronston, age eight, male. History: The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronston. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment: Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Deeren will have not. A, we have not achieved the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. Documented, April 6th, 1944. Dang. Oh, Wooden Mr. Horsey. Are you having a good time? Yeah, very good time. Keep on having a good time, having a good time. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Ooh. Holy moly, something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Tower defense. We have for you... <laughs> or is it defense tower? I guess that's my way out. I don't think my head will fit through the window. Hmm, maybe not. The reflection in the window was just creepy. <laughs> Can I unlock this? Yeah, locked. Good for a reason. Use on this. Yes! 
Yes. Yes, I got it. And there's something inside. Ooh. Oh, it's a family photo. I'm guessing that's the mom, that's the dad, and that's... Aunt? I don't know. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Let's go pick some locks. Let's go crack a safe. <laughs> I'm getting chills from this game. My legs are just fine. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels? Towels. I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. Oh, Fran, you are awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Oh. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. Lady Nurse, I did something. See? You're nothing but a troublemaker. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. <laughs> accidentally? I have to fix this now. Follow me. You are a creepy lady. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Seeing nothing. What's a hook? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go find, go and find something to fix this, you little girl. <laughs> oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Ooh, frontal lobe, minor cortex. Sensitary, sensory cortex, parental lobe, temporal lobe, other thing. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh god, that's like messy. Okay, wait. Oh, crap, where's my notebook? Okay, I got my World of Warcraft notebook. One, two, three, four. I'll go to nine. Okay, five. Okay, so I just copied that onto my notebook. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. My goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it at as it was. I need to get out of this place. Ew. Ew, 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 Okay. Okay, um... Let me examine the box. My pills are inside. I know I have to crack it. Ah, it won't work. Okay, yes, 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 okay. Eight. Nine. Four. Five. Boom! The pills! Kitty told me these would help. How does we take a pill? Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. It was not me. Oh. No. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Yeah. Sleeping. Oh, sweet. Sweet. 
Where did the clown go? I don't know. The drawer is empty. Who did it? Blood. Find him. Ooh. That's creepy. Okay, um... Whoa. To happiness. And it's a bug that is squished. Or is this blood? You can see. Phil is playing with his uncle. And the uncle is mad. Mad. Why are you looking at me like this? You terrify me. Hello, oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Oh. Of course it's locked. Oh, what happens if we go back to like where the nurse was? Oh. Watch your step. Oh, I didn't mean to look out that window, but okay. I want to talk to the nurse. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? She's kind of a skeleton. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me all oh, no, Snow. You got a little blood in your mouth. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, that, that is terrifying. <laughs> Alright, down the stairs we go. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep her you can't keep me away from her. The reason is more clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home. Now. You can't. Fran's mental Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. I got the hiccups. Ew. Oh no, not a fox. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home. Tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Of course it's not. Can we, uh... It fits in here, but there are two holes. I need something else. Keep these for later. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? I know, right? The doctor's office. I need something else. Ah, okay, yeah, that, that took, that took way too long to find this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right, let's go. WC. Oh, like washroom? The throne is empty. Ha! <laughs> Alright. 
Let's let's try one of these. Whoa. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy could not care. Would not care. Is there anything in here now? The king likes drawing. That was creepy. What? Mr. Midnight? You're my beloved friend, Bert Rick Room. What? This wasn't here before. Oh, I can't. <laughs> okay. Um. No, that's where I just was. To this one then. Huh. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and serpent. Teddy and many other things. Okay. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Hello. You see them. You do, right? What? See what? <laughs> what are the creatures that follow everyone? Oh, those! Yeah, um... <laughs> you mean the shadows? Uh huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Tell me. I must know your knowledge. Well, tell me, please. Snotty. You like to draw. I love to draw. I love it too. I love to, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. <laughs> we went from shadows to crayons to cats and depression. Draw a cat if you don't have one. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Who told you that? The shadows. The one that follows me? Bye! I'm just gonna... Maybe. Okay, let's um... Ooh. You should blame yourself, be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. You should blame yourself. Why do you look at... Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. He must be dead. Maybe if I touch it, it will jump and scare me a lot. Hmm. Alright, nothing happened. It must be dead. You can see. Okay, what's this? Even the purest thing, purest of things die in this place. Tiny, tiny hands all over, eating your soul. That's mine. My crayons. Can I have... I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. But you have so many. But wait, she is too green. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The doctors, probably? The nurses. They tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. Me? Yes, they tie me up too sometimes. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. And then the red milk. Then comes the red milk. Look. Ooh. Please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. Red milk. <laughs> Just take my band-aids. Well, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. Yeah, crayon! I don't know what I need this crayon for, but I got it. Alright, let's go down here. Oh, no. Huh? There you are. You should be in your room. 
The door was closed. You left it open. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? If it, it was open... Hmm, don't try and trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. But I don't wanna. Your medicine is shut up, Peter. Ah, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Ah, oh, no! Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Brian. I haven't eaten in days. <laughs> I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Let me go eat something. You have to learn to listen to those in charge. Of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, friend. Go and eat, and go back to bed. I'm gonna eat your soul! That's what I'm gonna eat! <laughs> This gate is very locked. I wonder what that blinking light is for. Who is this guy? Sir Oswald Harrison. A bearded old man. Hey. A bleeding clock. It's time to stop. <laughs> Hello up there, miss, who's hanged by your own intestines. Your dress is very pretty, like Cinderella. Oh, this clock sounds odd. No, oh, that clock's eye looks like Mr. Midnight's. Man, this game is... Oh. Hello, sir. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key. If you give me a kiss... You should kiss your butt. What a bastard, you can kiss your butt. <laughs> I told you, a kiss for the key. What do you say, eh? He's got that pedo stash going on, so... <laughs> hey, get your hands off the office door. What about the phone? If I call emergency, I don't think they would help. Yeah, we all get those itches on our back and we just gotta we just gotta scratch them. Hello. Are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? Um I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? You will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Uh, I was just asleep. Oh no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Teddy, what are you doing here? I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. I will laugh. Okay, yeah, he's just repeating. Daddy, are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Yeah, sure. Say hello for me when you get there. Okay. Ew. Reach the key. Um, uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Yeah, sure. Ew, a crunchy pig head, ready to be served. Wonder what part of the body that is. Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. You're a pig, sir. <laughs> oh, we're reaching up almost nearly 40 minutes on recording. All night. Jason Voorhees? Hello, are you new here? 
I haven't seen you here before. No. Oh, what did I just do? Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Could you please kill me? Please? Sure. Bang, you're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. A tasty cinnamon bun. Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? I see dead animals. This <laughs> nice. You mean in the television? No, I mean for real. Just, just forget it. Well, very well, Fran. Go play with your friends now. <laughs> friends. Okay. Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Who doesn't like some good chocolate? I don't like bitter coffee. <laughs> Sauces, milk, flakes. Hello, Mr. Midnight. Are you in here? Are you okay? Don't disturb me. Go away. I'm eating. Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should, you should bow and speak clear to me. I am your king. The king likes to draw. You're not the king. I'm the only king of the whole universe. Bow to me. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your walking cane. What walking cane? You mean my sword? Yes, your highness, your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then I will grant you my sword. I don't want this. I'm not hungry. <laughs> I thought you said you were hungry. Annie loves to drink the milk like a kitten. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Hey Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magical tricks and make you sleepy. What? Magical tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you. But it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magic stuff. Really? Whoa! Yes, the magic stuff that will make anyone fall asleep. Oh, that's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here, as a gift. Take it slowly. Oh? Wait a minute. How does it work? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go to him. I think I can feed that guy with the cinnamon bun with the pill. Fall asleep. Oh, this magical cake is now a sleepy, sleepy cake. I brought this cake for you. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Please take it. It'll make your life a little bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. Why not? Take it. No. Now leave me alone. Take the cinnamon bun. Alright. Let's try again. No. Now leave me alone. Ah. 
Well, what's in here? Oh. Don't touch that. You'll die if you do. Waves. They don't work. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. What does the paper do? What does the paper do? I need paper to show me what's on the TV. Why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. <laughs> Human testing approved. There we go. We're losing the waves. Change channel. It works. It works. A miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great. Can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Now, if I combine this... Yeah! I'll bring him his horse in his castle. And I'll take that kid's cane so he can never walk again. <laughs> I told Marcel with the latest delivery. He hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he will catch up soon. Hey Gladys, could you do me a favor? Sure, anything. But bring coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it. I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. Fran, I told you to go. Mind your own business. I'm very busy. Can I combine this with the... Alright. Anyway, I've got to go to the king. Use this on it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, that's a little bit disturbing. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly, <coughs> exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Sweet. You're never gonna walk again. Am I? I need something to tie them together. Give views. Yeah, stone who needs to sleep. Okay. Oh, I'm not even out of the asylum yet. Very, very hot coffee. Here's your hot, hot, hot coffee, sir. Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch! You did that on purpose! Now leave, I have to go and change. Gah, it's burning like hell! Doesn't... Don't go anywhere, you little shit. Alright. There we go. I found... Okay, sweet. Let's grab the key. I need to lock the office. Use that. The yellow typewriter. I can write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, take me out of here, please. The yellow typewriter. Oh, I hate this bit. Probably. Another key. No pictures or funny riddles. The brain is so complicated. Vision, taste, and hearing. Ooh, I love to open mail, but it's not for me. Testing. Everyday testing, testing. Um... <laughs> oh. 
Anyway, we're gonna take the paper. Sweet, okay. But I'm going to write it down so just in case. Okay, so I think I got it, maybe. Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. Phil, you're scaring me. What do you mean? Phil, please, let me out. Oh, time to use the key. The key doesn't work here. Oh, do I have to use pills? Oh. Oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you cannot feel it. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Yeah, it's creepy. Do you think Phil is able to see the things like I am? Oh, the wind. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Oh, okay. Oh, that rat really hit its head. It should get. <laughs> I should give it a helmet. Hey, friend, there's a hole. Just keep going and going and watch out for the hole, please. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay. And fortunate, I mean fortunate, unfortunately, guys, this is where I have to end the episode. Uh, if you guys like this, make sure to smash that like button. Just obliterate it. I would love for you guys just to hit it with your elbow, hit it with your big toe, hit it with your eyebrow for all I care. Make sure to share this video with anyone you want to see me. I'm going to hate this because it's terrifying. And remember to take a break, pause your life, play a game. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye